What the hell is that? One kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning growth. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out, too. Welcome back to the real world. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. To be fair, that would be a little fucked up. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Alright. These all the different pieces of info that we've collected so far. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. And I do have a gun with it. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Oh god, Chloe! I still feel sketchy about giving Chloe the gun back. You should really not have that out. That sounds like a super bad idea. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? Oh god. So much. Uh. Fuck, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. We really shouldn't take money from handicapped. Fr from the handicapped. From the handicapped fund. That's how they build the ramps that you would have needed, Chloe. Thanks for the photo, though. Bye! No, that poor little bird has been trapped in here. I'm surprised they haven't let him out. It's been three fucking days. Hey, bird friend. Hey, bird friend. Oh, now I can turn the light on. Thanks. Bah! Gonna get out of here? Huh? Huh? Here, I'll let you out, buddy. Get your ass out of here. Be free. Awesome. I'm honestly surprised they haven't gotten the bird out of their own house yet. <laughs> it's been three days. 
Oh my god, and they're just like, eh. Whatever. Alrighty, let's go downstairs. Oh, hey. David's home. Uh. Oh, hey, news. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Why does everything call them an angel? Also. Uh. Holy shit. Uh, okay. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll have an extra one in case you change your mind. Thanks for helping with my experiment, Dr. Max Stein. It didn't help at all. It did enough so that I got an A- minus instead of a B plus that I was stressed about. Okay, I'll take credit for your success. Congrats, I rule. Even though A- minus is such a bull grade, bullshit grade, A-, minus. somehow I think you'll survive. Tell that to my folks. Got a jam, bathroom. Thanks for sharing. Yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Oh, wow, Chloe texted- actually texted you? I sure didn't have her number. Now, I get why you didn't want to go ape with me. You should go with Chloe. She looks cool enough for you. I have a lot of cool friends. A, a lot of cool friends like you. Yes, you do. Just my luck. And mine. I have to jet. Talk to you later. I hope so. Warren! <laughs> oh, God! No, it was just a goof. It was just a goof. Holy shit, why is everyone on the planet fucking texting me? What the fuck? Uh. Maxine, what the heck is going on with the weather up there? Are they doing tele military tests or something? You're right in the eye of the storm. No comment, I've kept Lisa alive through all this, so we're still safe. As long as you're around. Now back to the books, talk soon. Fucking XO Maxo. Jesus. Chloe! Uh. Max, hey man, I suck again. Sorry I got in your face today and took out my bullshit rage on my best friend. Chloe, I understand. You're going through a lot, we all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rewind. Just wink. Okay, that is your one for get out of Moji Jail free card, but we need to stock up on Sig's coffee and candy for an all nighter. We have to get into Rachel and Kate detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. I'll bring my thinking cap. No worries, I have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Sweet, I'll be ready. XOXO. And that was no emoji. <laughs> oh, why do you hate emojis? Kate. Uh... Okay. Max, how are you? I hope you can still visit me this week. I have some important things to talk about. Of course I'm still coming to visit you. You can't stop me. I miss you and my bunny. We all miss you and your bunny misses you. Yay, you are such a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you, XO Maxo. Could you please stop that, Max? And yes, finally, the one thing I've been trying to do in this entire game. Kate has acknowledged me as a friend. A great friend. Oh my god, Kate, we are the best friend you could ever have. Justin. Uh. Sorry, my phone was in my bag. Hey, Justin, you busy? Whoa, Wax. Max Wax. I'm busy blazing. What up? You know Frank Bowers? Drugs. That's it. Ask Nathan. I think he knows him. He knows him, I think, rather. Whoops. Sorry. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? Uh, Juliet. Whoa. Hey, Max. I hope you're okay after everything. You might be busy, but feel free to call me anytime. Hey, Juliet. Are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me. What's going down? Besides everything, I was just curious if you ever heard of a guy named Frank who lives in an RV around town. You mean a van by, down by the river? I heard he's a sketchy meth head. That's about it. Why, are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from Ace Reporter Juliet Watson. Hello? <laughs> Get shut out, nerd. Uh... Hey honey, I just got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? And it's from a blocked number. Oh, I'm so sorry. Some jackass in my class thought it'd be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. I'm just being a dad. I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. We're so close to ending this. 
Hey, girlfriend, let me know when you want to come by my room and I'll give you a fashion makeover. Holy shit, how did you accidentally turn- How did you turn on fucking caps lock on a mobile phone? Oh, thanks, Courtney. I'm swamped with homework now, but I'll check in with you later. Thanks again for the offer. Ugh. It is great that we're making so many friends, though. Joyce really wants David and Chloe to be a family. I'll accept your movie of- uh, your offer of a dinner and a movie. Maybe Chloe would like to come along. I'll come- I'll act, I'll call you later. Triple X, triple O. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, monologue time. Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now, Max Caulfield exists in two... Or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? If these alternate lives exist, I hate the thought of William and Joyce finding Chloe like that. <sighs> Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. Oh boy, multiverses. Uh, multiple universes. Oh shit, it's David. Fuck, what up? Yo, what up? It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Hey, man, what's up? Anything I can do for you, Max? I... I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. Excuse me. That's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in Arcadia Bay. What do you mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on at Blackwell. And you've seen too much already, so please stay out of this, Max. Too late. I already know way too much. So, do you and Nathan Prescott... That little shit-ass Nathan Prescott is lucky he only got suspended. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I could have been suspended, too. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I... I am sorry, Max. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh. I tried to help Kate. I tried to help Kate. You did, Max. You saved her life like a hero while I left the goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. I knew Kate was desperate too. So did Mr. Jefferson. That guy is an elitist prick and I'm off duty so I can say it at home behind his back. Like when Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. Why say that? Why do you say that? These art farts are all about themselves. When I was in the service, I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me. It's only I know what's happening. Of course, thanks to Mrs. Grant and her hippie anti-surveillance petition, I hope everybody feels safer, like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Although, you're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just gonna get more ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. Now, excuse me, Max. I have to get back to my camera. See, I'm an artist too. <laughs> he may be a little Sorry, but this is my official man cave so no girls allowed wow he may be a bit of an abrasive dick but he is a good man i don't totally trust david but he's not a real step viewer nah he's a good Maybe man Chloe will see that someday 
I can help sell. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Despite our rather heated discussion about the successful petition to block a campus surveillance system, I am still interested in your other in your feedback on other methods of improving Blackwell security. We must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Best Principal Wells. David really did protect Chloe. I'm glad I stuck up for him. From David Madsen to Officer Barry. Howdy, Andy. Just wanted to let you know that Chloe was actually with me the other night, not at Blackwell. I almost wish she had been because I caught her with more weed, so I had to put the fear of God and country into her. Not the, to mention the threat of kicking her ass out of the house. These kids are so goddamn entitled, as you know. Just wanted to let you know so Chloe's mother doesn't think her daughter was breaking into her old alma mater. Chloe's allergic to school now. Thanks, and let's get together for a two wheels breakfast, my treat. Holy shit, he's covering for her. <laughs> In the <laughs> in the most ridiculous way. I love it. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Well, everyone works for the Prescotts. We talked to him about this? Sorry, Max. I can't talk and work. No, but you can talk before you work. How about that for a bit of logic? Sure is hard to work in private with somebody watching you. I know, right? So, are you going to tell me why you think I'm working for Sean Prescott? Pan Estates? I saw documents that you were hired to do surveillance and security at Pan Estates. God damn. You are a good detective. But I didn't get hired. I gave Sean Prescott an estimate. For my own reasons. Anyway, you know you really should. People should really stop leaving shit out on their desks. Oh, hey. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Oh God, that would be that would be really weird. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madsen, thanks for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best Sean Prescott. There's got to be something between them. I wonder if David is going to the party. <sighs> well, he might actually be. He is security, after all. I don't get the feeling like it's a... Like a buddy-buddy type relationship. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Uh... Fuck. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. I need to find a key. Oh, hey, a bird nest. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. You got it. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. I got it. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay Wildlife series. Alright, cool. Put that shit back. Put it back. I'm sorry for fucking with your nest, birds. There we go. Alright, now we need a key. Huh. Key? Key. Key? Ah, oh, the keys to the kingdom. Or at least David's locker. Yoink! Excuse me, Max. Do not touch one goddamn thing. Come on, Max. Hey, Find Max. a way to get David out of his cave. I do appreciate you standing up for me. No problem. Um... I have an idea that's fucking awful. I... Give up William, but defend David? Would Chloe hate me if she knew? Probably. Hello? My butterfly sketch doesn't exist in this timeline. Like William. Max the Time Bandit strikes again. Oh shit, remodeling. What the fuck? When did this happen? Looks nice.
Well, my my idea that I had was to set the fucking. Oh, here we go. I can't let David see me while I snag his keys. Enter the ninja. Son of a bitch! I just fixed that fuse box. <laughs> Nobody worry. Alright, we good. Nice. I am the key master. What do we got here? Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Kate Marsh, she knows something. This is <laughs> this is all Chloe. Oh shit, he took a picture of that. Twilight Zone. Is that gonna be Nathan? Rachel. Pay up. I don't know what that's that's on about. Score. Back to Chloe now. All right, nice. Well, I thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Madsen. Oh, hello. The most expensive restaurant in town? David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. Holy shit. That is... Whew. Call Chloe. Yo, Chloe. Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus, there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now, let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Oh my god, really? This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be her friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Kate. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate. Listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while, but I have
have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel and Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. I am so happy right now. Kate. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Let's talk about you. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Uh... Warren? What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. You know he likes you. So I've heard. <laughs> he asked me to go to the drive-in, but I turned him down. Oh, really? You guys would be a perfect couple. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. Oh, let's talk about Nathan. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Uh, Prescott family. I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Oh, fuck. We need to feed the rabbit. Letter? Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. From William and Wells to Kate Marsh. Dear Kate, I just want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Blackwell Academy is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty here have ra organized a rally in your honor, and I've never seen such an outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little given your circumstances, but it's important you know that we do care. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Sincerely, Principal Ray Wells. It's another case of, I think they're a good person. They just, there's a lot of shit going down right now. But it's time to talk to myself. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Oh, time travel is such a mindfuck. We're accomplishing great things, Max. We're doing really good. However, what the fuck is up with this picture, Kate? That is downright lewd. Holy hell. I can't, I can't be in here. 
I'll talk to you later. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. We should probably tell her that Kate is going to get us the number. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Pot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Chloe, stop trying to fuck the teacher. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Why is everybody... Out in this little segment here. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. I want to comfort you, but... Holy shit, your shirt, my dude. <laughs> Anyway, I love your drawings. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Uh, no problem. But hey, want to talk about Kate? Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I... Don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes. But don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Let's talk about Nathan. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Oh, about the end of the world party. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here 
Push me in the lockers, not dance floors. Ah, oh, fuck. You know, probably don't go to the party. I get the feeling bad, no good things are going to happen there. Don't go. Screw the Vortex Club. They don't deserve you, Daniel. They don't deserve anything. I mean, what do they actually do for Blackwell, huh? You're right, Max. Screw them. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Yeah, but first I must talk to everyone. Hello! Do you want to talk to me? Hello, Zachary. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. Okay. Oh, what's this? One photo. For posterity. Welcome to the club, Tabanga. Who built that? That was really cool looking. I hope Max isn't pissed that Warren asked me to the drive-in. <laughs> oh. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Yes, but we're going to talk about your drone instead. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant caved and let me fly her again. So take a spin. I have to see what time I'm going to the drive-in with Warren on Saturday. Sounds fun. That sounds fun. It would be good for you and Warren to take a road trip after this week. Warren got a new car. Or an old new car. So I'm all about a serious road trip out of here after this week. I love that awkward point she does. Whoa. Hey, Tabanga. Whoa. Don't get hit by the ball. She's there talking to her friend, Justin. Hello, Daniel. Who the fuck is that skater nerd, though? Hello! Okay, bye. Well, that was fun. Thanks. Let us keep talking. Back again, Brooke. Are you sure you're alright? I have problems. Let's talk about Nathan. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? I was distracted by Warren asking me out to the drive. Wow! Nathan was suspended, but... He should still be on campus. I did see him this morning heading off campus. He looked more angry than usual. I wouldn't look for him now if I were you. No problem. Talk about whales. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. Well, thanks for the chat. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Later, nerd. I can't go in here. Oh, yeah, squirrel. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, squirrel paparazzi? I'll take a picture of you. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. You talked last. Tell us, Samuel. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. People. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Talk about Kate. 
I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Kate was bullied. Destiny? It could have gone either way. Samuel, do you think that we each have a destiny? Yes, I, I do, Max. In many different lifetimes, of course. Kate Marsh believed in something different, so that's her destiny. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I, I hope she finds them now. Nathan. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. What about David? Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. Let's talk about animals. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Beached whales. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. They're not alone. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh, no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Squirrels. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. You feeding the squirrels donuts? Oh, my dude. Can I take a photo? How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Squirrel. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, squirrel paparazzi? A squirrel. Lure. Get that food in your belly. Come to me, squirrel. Join him. Yes. Fucking beautiful. Okay. Is this a thing? This is not a thing. All right. Thanks, Samuel. Hello, Hello Hi, Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. Talk about recent events. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Gotta be a scientific explanation, right? There must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, 
Maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Dying animals. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. Uh, time travel? What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. Or not. It all depends on the, the structure of time that you're working with. Nathan. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Hell no. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week, I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you, you might be the wisest. Talk about Kate. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Uh, Blackwell needs help. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. The Prescotts. Did the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. You're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. I love talking to you, too. But, uh... Sorry for wasting all your time. It's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. Alright, you have fun with that. Okay, never mind. Hey, shut up. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. I just noticed the board. They're getting the access the handicap updates. Fuck yeah. Told you, Chloe. so lame they don't have colored dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down.